All right, hey everyone, 2000 Cobra R owner's experience. I really didn't know what to expect when I purchased this car. This is one car I had always wanted, just like my uh, my Viper. I always wanted one of these things. Some kid with a V6 has to, I guess, try to show off. Uh, I really didn't know what to expect when I purchased thing. You know, I had read you know, all the reviews on it from all the automotive testers. So I had a little bit of an idea, but this car is so extensively modified from the factory and so purpose-built as a, a track car, a track day car, that I didn't know if this thing was going to be like really awful to drive on the streets. Surprisingly, that's not the case. I thought this was going to be like the, the, a terrible street car, like, you know, because it's so compromised for track use, but that's, that's not true. And I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised how this car is um yeah it's a normal mustang chassis that's one thing they didn't change so you know it's your normal mustang dimensions in here it's not really cramped at all you know this it's not big but you know it, it's comfortable you can spread out or someone who's tall can you know drive this car the seat goes back quite a bit so there is a fair amount of room in here i mean it's got all the, the mustang amenities that a regular mustang would have and cup holders not like anybody really drinks when they drive uh this thing but it's glove box it's got a, a full-size mustang trunk on it so there's a surprising amount of actual like room in this car for how high performance that it was 17 years ago um like i said it is surprisingly comfortable this car i thought this thing was gonna ride really rough it's got like 750 pound front springs 800 pound rear springs so i'm like this thing's probably gonna ride kind of harsh boy was i wrong not true at all this car is surprisingly comfortable to just put around in since let's be honest most of these are street cars a decent amount of them saw racetrack use but they're mostly street cars so as far as street driving this thing is it's really pleasant to drive around you don't get out of this thing and your back doesn't hurt you know you're not, you're not like thank god i'm getting out of this thing the biggest thing that makes this car comfortable are these seats holy cow these seats are surprisingly comfortable so Recaro did a great job making these seats both very supportive and very comfortable you could drive in these seats all day I've heard of other guys buying these seats and putting them in uh, their regular Mustangs or other cars for flat out how comfortable they are and holy cow were they right these seats are unbelievably nice they sit back you're a little bit pitched back tiny bit but it, it, you don't really notice it that much. It doesn't affect uh, your driving position or your ability to drive it, but it's overall great, great car just to kind of put around in if you just you know want to go to car shows or just kind of enjoy it for what it is. Um, you know, the ergonomics are okay. The shifter's a little far away, but everybody kind of knows that about these generation Mustangs. They put them a little far up. Not the worst thing in the world. I can reach it pretty well. It's, a, it's you know, it's at the end of my arm's length, but you know, not too bad. Um, and this thing is, it's kind of oddly useful. Like this car is like super unpractical when you consider it has no air conditioning, no stereo, no sound deadening. Like they stripped everything out of this car they didn't need. But you know, you could, it's got a decent sized trunk on it. Like I said, you could throw a lot of stuff in that trunk and the back seat too. So you can get quite a bit of stuff in here. Not that anybody's really taking this car out to run errands, but you could, absolutely. There's, there's plenty of room in here for whatever. Two seats only, but plenty of room for stuff. I wouldn't put, you know, bags of sheetrock uh, bags of uh, cement mix in here but you know it's not bad um power's pretty good 385 from the factory was the rating i think it's pretty well known ford was very uh conservative on those numbers they've dynoed quite a few of these things in stock form they usually make like 360 370 to the wheels so you figure with 15 percent parasitic power loss the real number is probably like 420, 430, give or take. So, you know, the power's good. Again, by today's standard, 17 years later, everybody kind of, oh, 305 horsepower, that's nothing. But in 2000, this thing was probably pretty radical. But the power delivery is pretty good. I'll, uh, I'll give you a little sound of this thing. I'll make sure no one's around. pretty good um i don't want to go into too much depth comparing this to my viper i'm going to do a separate video where i'll compare and contrast both cars i want to just focus on this car for now um 
This car is not loud. I had like every magazine I read on this car, everyone's like, oh, I hope you don't mind the car being loud. You know, it doesn't have sound deadening in it. It's got the side exhaust. It, it's a custom side exhaust from the factory. That's not true at all. Um, I'm not big on like super loud cars. I like a nice sounding car, but I don't like an, an obnoxiously loud car. That's not the case at all. And I thought this thing was going to be like, oh crap, I'm going to drive with earplugs in because you're always pretty much driving around with the windows down having no AC. No, it's, it's surprisingly um, quiet. I mean, yeah, if you roll on the throttle and give it some stick, yes, it gets loud. But... Uh, as far as just if you want to have a conversation with someone in here just driving along it's it's not loud at all you might not even be able to really hear the exhaust too much on the uh, from the microphone but it's you can have a normal volume conversation in here uh, without trying so that's what's nice I mean granted this car isn't really designed for that but you know it's it's nice that you can do that because let's be honest these are mostly street cars um, uh, as far as the reactions with this car this is what's kind of weird about this car 99% of people see this thing, they think, oh, it's just a regular Mustang. Some idiot threw some stupid, obnoxious wing on the back. And they just, you know, it's bright red, so they kind of look at it, and then they just dismiss it almost immediately. So, whereas, like, other, you know, like, uh, I'll talk about my Viper a little bit. My Viper gets, like, you know, everybody's ripping their phones out real quick, trying to take a picture. They're snapping their necks, turning their head. This thing, you don't get that. Even a lot of car enthusiasts don't really know what this thing is. They just see, oh, it's a, you know, 99 to 04 New Edge Mustang. And that's all they really see. So you don't get the general reaction from everybody with this car. But what's odd about this car is the few people that know what this thing is go crazy when they see it. People will like run across the street, almost get hit by cars. Holy crap, is that thing real? I brought this thing in to, for, uh, to have new tires put on it. My friend put new tires on it. I hear one guy yell from across the, set, the service center, holy crap, is that thing real? So the few people that know what this thing is go crazy because oh my god i've always wanted to see one of these things i've never seen one in person and that's true in the 16 years this car was out before i bought this car i had seen three in person two were at the ford national in carlisle which i mean you'll see almost anything there only one was at like kind of a regular local car show and same thing like i saw the wing from far away i knew instantly what it was and i just ran up and i'm like holy cow i've never seen one of these things i've always wanted to holy cow i probably spent half an hour looking at that car just because you know it's just it's so unique there's only 300 of them running around it is truly a rare car everyone's so quick to throw the word rare around but this truly is because this car is so extensively modified and there's so few of them running around so it it did you know, you don't get that crazy reaction. No one really comes up to you at the gas station. No one really asks, asks you about it. But those handful of people that really are super car enthusiasts, that really know their stuff about all the little unique cars, they, they come running up. It's like, I'm sure guys with, M3, with M3s would say, like, you know, most people don't really go crazy about an M3. But if you run around saying M3 lightweight, super rare car, only the real true enthusiast would know what it is and go running up. Like, holy crap, I've never really seen one of these in person. So... It's kind of funny how it's like it's like a blend-in kind of very unique car that doesn't really get the, all the crazy attention despite it being a bright red color. And uh, um, the only thing that really concerns me about owning this car is this car is so one-off and so unique. I'm always kind of worried if something happens to this car because I like to keep my cars factory correct and authentic. And if something were to happen to this car, I'm always worried that how would I get an, uh, an original replacement part for this car? I mean, if you call up Ford and, uh, yeah, I need a 2000 Cobra R hood, they're going to laugh at you. You can't find these things. You can't get them. You can't even get the Ford Racing ones anymore. So every once in a while, you'll see like a Ford Racing or even sometimes an authentic one. I've seen authentic wings come up. Those were guys, I think, that worked on the factory floor that were able to get their hands on one one of the extra ones from the uh, the assembly line that they didn't use. So that's really the only chance I feel you're gonna have at actually getting your hand on, on uh, original parts if you have a problem. But again, there's so much, this car is so one-off. People will ask, you know, what's different about this car? It's easier to, to say, you know, what isn't modified on this car? I mean, the only thing really not modified is like, it's got a normal Mustang body chassis, that's really it. I mean, it's got like nine regular Cobra rear brakes. It's got a 98 Cobra clutch. So it's it's got all this other like custom stuff on it. And there's so few standard stuff that it really truly is a custom car, despite it looking so 
kind of regular Mustang at face value if you don't know what it is. So that's really the only thing that kind of makes me nervous about this car. I do, I love driving this car. It handles really well. I said it was comfortable, but it handles well. You pitch this thing into a corner, it responds great. I mean, when this thing was new, this thing out handled even the ACR Vipers in, uh, I think it was the Slalom maybe, one of the two big performance categories. It's either Skid Pad or Slalom. This car beat like everything, the Ferraris and everything else. So this car had some, it had some interesting tricks up its sleeve despite in a straight line, it, it, you know, it wasn't super fast. It was like mid to upper four, zero to 60. It's like upper 12s, I think in the quarter mile. So it, it's nothing, especially by today's standards, it's really nothing nuts but it's, it's really a great unique experience. When you get into this thing, it's just like getting into a regular Mustang, but then you look out the front and you see that big bulging hood and you look out the back and you see that gigantic wing. So it really is a cool experience owning this car, especially if you don't want to be like, have a big flashy, you know, everyone run over to an experience like an exotic car. It does give an exotic car, an exotic, more of an exotic race car kind of feel to it. Obviously it, it sounds, like a V8, like an American car, which it absolutely does, but it kind of gives you a, a more of a, a race car exotic feel with this thing uh, without paying, you know, crazy ridiculous money. And the prices are starting to come up on these things. They bottomed out probably 2010, 2011, and they're on a very slow rise. So if you're, if you want something unique, I thought about buying a Terminator before I bought this thing, but I always wanted this car. I, I, I just had to experience this car and see what it was about. I didn't want to just pass it up and I wanted something even more unique than a Terminator, so I decided that to go with this thing, and, and I'm not disappointed at all. I still may pick up a Terminator one day. I would like to at least drive one, see what it feels like. A straight line, they're comparable, they're about the same. Brace, braking and turning, forget it. This thing, if you ever read the comparison that they did years ago between this and a Terminator, this thing blew the Terminator away in and, and anything but a straight line. The, the brakes kind of fade kind of quick in that car after a couple high-speed stops. Um, obviously, it's a lot heavier. It's not as designed to be thrown into the corners. The springs aren't as stiff, but if you want a super unique Mustang and you like this era of these like super, super analog cars, this is a this is like the definition of a driver's car. No traction control, no stability control. These, this generation Mustang did have traction control, but they didn't put it in this car. The only driver's aid in this car is ABS. Some people consider power steering, power brakes a driver's aid. I guess technically they are, but I don't really consider it that. So you have really just ABS and everything else is up to you. So if you like analog cars where you're in charge, not a computer, and you want something really, really super unique and special, check this car out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I really love this car, even though you know I've driven faster cars. I was a little worried it could be a little disappointing because I'm buying a slower car than some of my other cars, but that's not really the case. This car is special and, and unique and different in its own right. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.